lovelies, it's me, Sadie Lace here, and today I have for you a new fabulous video where I'm actually going to be trying out a 1940s beauty tutorial from this fabulous book here. This is the Be Beautiful book by Jean Cleland. I do believe this came with Women's Weekly back in the 1940s. I have used it for other things here on my YouTube channel, but I thought it'd be fabulous to share a glamorous tutorial from this period featuring the makeup I'm currently wearing. We're looking at chapter 9 on page 36, which outlines a whole beauty tutorial, which is super fabulous. It has a little introduction here. I won't read all of this as it kind of starts with men like women to be natural, and it's definitely a more natural look. If you do want to find the book, you may be able to get it on Amazon or somewhere like that. So let's get into today's tutorial. The Art of Makeup, How to Apply Makeup. Step 1. Cleanse the face thoroughly with soap and water or cleansing cream according to its type. Then wipe off with a clean towel or handkerchief. Before today's video, I did already start with step one because I cleanse my face in the shower. I do truly love just how beautiful all the illustrations in this book are. Step two, wipe the face with a pad of cotton wool soaked in cold water or skin tonic to remove the grease. So I found some little cotton balls and I've got some cold water. Just gonna wipe down my face. This is super soothing, really lovely with the cool water. Step 3. While the skin is still slightly damp, take a little foundation cream on the fingertips and pat small dabs on the nose, forehead, cheeks and chin. Step 4. Smooth the cream well all over the face until there's an even surface. Usually I would use a makeup brush to do this, so using my hands is a little bit different. I'd usually also use either a primer or a um, even just a moist moisturizer before I put my foundation on. So this is a slightly different step. The coverage is really light, but it's actually really nice. It's very soft and beautiful. I'd probably wear a little bit more normally, but I'm going to follow this tutorial. Step 5. Take a spot of rouge on the tips of the two middle fingers of each hand. Pat on fairly high up on the cheekbones. So during the 1940s, they would have likely used a cream rouge. I only have a powder, but I do have a lipstick. I'm going to be using a Natio colour, which is pink. I've seen a lot of people try this in tutorials and they use a very bright red, but typically my rouge is a pinker tone, so I'm going to go with this. So on my two middle fingers, <laughs> put a little bit of lipstick on that. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's not too heavy. This is actually really nerve-wracking putting lipstick onto my cheeks, but I can always take it off if it's too much. So I have my cheekbones. I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Rub this in. I think I've used too much. I'm going to just do a side to side. Really blend that in. Okay, it's it's turning out okay now. Much milder. Oh, I moved ahead a little bit. Step six is to blend the rouge into the skin by smoothing it out and then down a little until it's evenly dispersed that it looks like it's absorbed naturally. Take great care to see that no sharp edges are visible, otherwise the face gets a hard mask-like appearance which we definitely want to avoid. I think I'm fairly happy with that step. Step 7. Take two powder puffs or two pads of cotton wool with the first Buff the powder liberally all over the face, pressing it in gently to the skin with the second that lightly dusts off and disperses the powder. Now, I only have one powder puff, so we're going to make that do. I've seen a lot of footage where they actually apply this and it does seem to be quite heavy. So I'm going to go in and grab some powder. And now with the cleaner side, I'm just going to use that to wipe off the excess because it is hanging on a little bit. Step 8. Remove powder from eyelids and lashes with a spot of grease and smooth on just a trace of eyeshadow with the tip of your finger. So smoothing off the powder. So in the book it does recommend using a green and I don't really have too much green so I'm just going to grab this colour here. And we're applying it with our fingertips, which just seems 
crazy. I would use the makeup brushes for all of this and I would apply it in a very different manner. So I'm gonna pop my finger in there. <laughs> and from the from the picture, it does look like she's just kind of sweeping it through here like a light color wash. So I'm just gonna take my <coughs> green. <coughs> Step nine, brush the upper lashes with a little eye cosmetic. Be sure the brush is clean otherwise the lashes will stick together. I can see from the picture she has that gorgeous little brush where she would have had a cake mascara like Besame Cosmetic makes. I just have my regular mascara so I'm gonna pop that in. I think I'm due a new tube so these lashes won't be perfect but we'll follow along the tutorial. Step 10, brush the powder from the eyebrows with a small eyebrow brush, then comb into arch. Now, your girl does not have much eyebrow, so I'm definitely gonna go in with just a little bit of powder, which isn't inaccurate for that time, just so it gives me a little bit more than these little guys up here. So I'll first give them just a brush through to remove that powder, add a little makeup, I'm also going to be cheeky and just add in my little beauty mark because that's usually what I do at this point. Step 11. Remove powder from lips with a little grease. This keeps the lips smooth and enables the lipstick to go on evenly. For my grease substitute, I'm just going to be using a little bit of coconut oil. Step 12. Rub the tip of the little finger on the lipstick, then on the lips, following the natural curves of your mouth. So normally I would use a lip brush to apply my lipstick with that really clean finish, but we'll follow along with the tutorial. So pinky finger on the lipstick. I'm not sure how the application of this is going to go, but it'll be fun. So that didn't turn out great. I might just fix it a little bit with a Q-tip. If you observe these simple points, you should have makeup that is natural, artistic, and becoming. I do think the makeup look is beautiful for the finish. There are a few points that I would do very differently, especially the lipstick. That would definitely be not my preferred method of application. The lip brush gets a much cleaner finish and a much bolder color, which is what I prefer. Obviously, I wear my makeup generally quite heavy. I like the very dramatic modern infusion with vintage. While this isn't how I'd usually do my makeup, I still do love the finish. It's very natural, just perfect for hanging around the house. And one thing that I was really surprised with was the this is actually, I think, the first time I tried it, was the cream rouge, just using the lipstick. I'm actually really happy with the results. It's very subtle, but also brightens your face up. I'd love to know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Did you enjoy it? Would you like to see more vintage tutorials that I try out? There's lots of different things in this book, as well as some other books that I have in my collection. Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. I'm now also on Patreon, where I'm going to be putting out new exclusive videos every week, so be sure to join my Patreon page. If you'd like to follow my daily pinup adventures, I post super regularly to Instagram. I'll pop a little link here as well as at the end of the video. And to never miss out on my glamorous videos here on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and I will be seeing you all real soon. Bye.